Using images instead of text prompts is amazing. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I will show you a method you can use on Midjourney right now to combine multiple images into a Midjourney render. So first, let's talk about some ideas and methods to make the most of this. I used here a Midjourney render of a burning Viking village and then also two photos that I downloaded from FreePick as all of the other photos that you will see in this video. And you can see in the final result we actually have a combination of all these elements with the face expression with the clothing of the viking and the burning village in the background in my next example again i combined a rendering of a viking village together with this photo here of that sitting Viking woman. And the cool thing is in our end result, not only do we have the same style of village, she's actually wearing very similar clothing and has the same kind of hair color and hairdo. You see here the pelt over the shoulders. She's even holding a sword down here. So that worked really beautifully. Next here is another combination of me and a stock photo. So you can see here that a different kind of face expression and then the photo of me. Now, the amazing thing here is that the person in the result has a similar face expression, but is facing the camera. And I'm really impressed how Midjourney can actually turn that face expression to the side. Then I went one level deeper and added a stock photo of a zombie. And you can see here that we got a really beautiful rendition of these three elements together from my face, the screaming face and the zombie face. But of course, you can do more than just rendering together different photos. So here we have an abstract design of this kind of globe. And then down here, this pointy pattern wave, which is really cool. And the result is this beautiful sphere here that is sinking into that kind of net. And all of that is made from these dots we find down here. I'm really impressed by that. But also want to point out some of these images that Midjourney created have been a bit desaturated. So I added some saturation, contrast and brightness to this image afterwards in posts. Next, I'm using again this dotted pattern together with this mandala design. And I really like the outcome that is at the same time mandala inspired, but also futuristic with all of these dots that we find here and that kind of a little bit neon glow that you find here. So that is very nice. In my next example, I did a bit of photo bashing. So here we have a photography of a Viking wizard, I would say maybe. And then down here we have an artist rendition of a war with all these kind of flames and burning landscape. Again, this is from a stock page. And the result is actually pretty amazing. It's not very detailed, but it has all of the elements together combined in the same artistic style. I'm very happy also about these beautifully designed horns that he has that are are also repeated in his stick. And last but not least, I turned myself into Morty. So here we have just a screen snap from the series, a photo of myself. And this is the kind of scary result here. But at the same time, I'm really amazed how well that turned out. Now let's talk about the method. And it's actually surprisingly simple. Click on the plus down here. Click on upload file and select the images you want to use. Let's say we take the Viking village together with our wizard. Click on open and then hit enter to upload. After the upload is finished, click on the image and then right click on the image, select copy link. Now click in the background to close that. Go down here, write slash and select imagine or write imagine. Post in that copied link, hit space, then click on the second image, right click copy link, click in the background, go again down here and paste in that second link too. So it looks like this. Now you can add some text prompt if you want to, but often that really influences the outcome of the render. So, so I would suggest you first only use the images. Let's hit enter. And after a short time, we are already greeted here with our results. Now, as you can see, sometimes Midjourney creates these desaturated dark results. So simply download that image, open it up in the photo software of your choice. In this case, I'm just using a little bit of brightness and contrast, pump up the brightness, pump up the contrast a little bit. And there you go. You have a much nicer image. 
Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think in the comments and see you soon. Bye! Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.